For at TV, the world is thinking. You know, it's a philosophical thing almost, which is not only are we supposed to prolong the end of life, but we're supposed to make life better. And sometimes we do better at the former, prolonging the end of life, rather than making life better throughout, you know, the end. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, is that... And so give me some examples of what you do to make that work. I mean, you, you touched on it briefly a so moment ago. Well, to make uh, the, my, the feedback, the um, spiritual feelings, the uh, what, coping mechanisms. Yeah, what we do is we combine Western psychology, which is our thoughts, because we believe that so much comes from our thoughts. So if you become obsessed and you think, oh my gosh, you know, am I going to live? Then you're locked in fear, mm -hmm. and then somehow physically it comes out, which often comes up to the doctor's office and right. physical symptoms, by the way, when the back's aching, when really you're terrified you're going to die. So we work on changing the thought process, and we combine that with Eastern philosophy of working with the mind, the body, the spirit through visualizations, music, relaxation techniques. So we've really found that the combination of these two, and we have a very structured model with interventions that we have um, been able to match to your coping style. So by using these interventions, that's how we have gotten the evidence base in our research mm -hmm. that proves that it works. And I mean, it's just amazing. I, um, especially in end of life, I have patients call me as they're dying as they're dying, and they were terrified to die. Of course, nobody liked to address it. And then once we worked with these interventions, as they're dying, their last breath is, it really works. I am at peace. Hmm. And I hope I didn't mess up your research. <laughs> but but that's, that's, that's the importance of our thoughts on this entire system. So fortunately, I work with electronic data collection. I, with every patient, when they come in, I'm able to record their psychological symptoms and their physical symptoms. So the physician and myself look at them from a whole person perspective and can see how one is working with the other. And I think that's the biggest disservice in healthcare today is that we are not looking at the patient from a whole person perspective of how one impacts the other, but most likely from a medical model. Can I get a